Do you want to catch Phoebus in only five minutes? Well, this is how to do it. Hello everybody, Blaine here for bridge 4 Games. So yeah, as I said in the intro there, we have a brand new tool that was actually just released that allows you to catch Feebas in about five minutes. Now this is huge because Feebas is notorious for being a very difficult Pokemon to catch. It only spawns in four random spots of uh, Mount Coronet every single day. It's a different one each day. So really until now, the only way to find this little fish has been to basically just brute force it. And it's kind of ironic because Feebas kind of stinks as a Pokemon, but it does turn into Milotic, which is pretty cool, even though it's Pokemon I'm not huge on. But we are going to show you guys how to catch it today in about five minutes using this tool. So a couple things we are going to need. You do need to have your Super Rod, which you're going to have right here. And once you have that and you have the access to Surf, we are going to be all set to proceed. So once you have those things, we're going to go ahead and dive right in. But before we do, I just want to take a second to ask that if you like the videos we have here on the channel, please make sure that you actually like them by hitting the thumbs up button. And of course, consider subscribing to the channel to become part of our amazing Pokemon community to make sure that you never miss any of the awesome videos just like this one. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. So first things first, we do have our Super Rod from this guy. He is a very uh, peppy fellow who talks about stuff being super. Uh, so we're just going to, we got our Super Rod, we're good. So now we're going to go ahead and fly. And uh, in order to do that, we need to go and go to Jubilife City and get today's Lotto for our Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and head down there. Now, I know it's tempting to actually want to win the Lotto, but uh, we're getting a bigger prize today. We're getting the Fee Bass. So we're going to go ahead and fly to Jubilife. And now we got to go to Jubilife TV. All right, so here we are outside Jubilife TV. We just need to go in there real quick. And then we got to talk to the lady up front to get today's Lotto number. Now, I'm actually blocking the screen. I'm going to move myself real quick so you guys can see this. We're drawing numbers for the lotto. Uh, so today's number, yeah, we want her to draw the ticket. Okay, so today's number is 36798. So remember that, 36798. Now, what we're going to do is go over to our uh, tool here for Feebas. And as we can see, there's a spot to put in today's lottery number. So we're going to go ahead and go to that tool. And it was, if I am not mistaken, 36798. I am going to check that real quick against my uh, other screen here just to make sure everything is correct. That's pretty important. 367, 36798. Perfect. Okay, so we have it in there. And as you guys can see, these four tiles are going to be where I can find Feebas. Now, apparently the, all four tiles work, but if the green tiles don't work, then it's going to be the red ones for sure. I, I don't know what that means. I, I'm just going off of the information that I have here. So I guess if the red ones don't work, the green ones work and uh, vice versa. But as we can see, these four tiles here are going to be the ones that have Feebas. So now that we are done with getting our information, we need to go ahead and get over to Mount Coronet, which we're going to go to right now. All right, so now the easiest way to get to Mount Coronet, we're actually going to fly to Celestic Town. And uh, that's going to be, I didn't get a match, whatever, I don't care. Again, eyes on the prize, guys. We are going for Feebas. So we're going to go ahead and fly to Celestic Town. Now, Celestic Town is, Celestic Town is well known for being where the uh, giant crystal underground area is, but it's also known as being a great way to get into Mount Coronet. So we basically need to enter um, by going left. And then once we're in there, we just need to go through the you know cave using basically a combination of strength and some other HMs. So you got to head this way to get towards Mount Coronet. I really hope there's no trainers that I haven't battled. That would be a real... Uh, frustrating thing here but all right i guess there is so what i'm gonna do guys i'm actually gonna cut back once we get into mount coronet and we will resume there all right so here we are here is the entrance to mount coronet so we're gonna go inside and like i said we need to go up now i do recommend that you use some repels here uh because there are just kind of a little bit of you know steps to get up there so i'm just gonna use a max repel so first up we're gonna go up and we need to move these uh strength boulders out of the way okay Strength, yep, get out of the way. Th thank you, Babarel. I appreciate it, bud. All right. Gnarly. Okay, so now I believe we go up here. All right, so we've arrived at the lake, and we need to start catching our Feebas here. Now, the tool that we have is laid out in a grid formation. So as we can see, it's telling me I need to go up to the 8th square, and then all the way to the left, which should be 3 from the rock in the middle. Now... The game isn't exactly laid out in a grid, so it can be a little tricky to kind of get the right spot, but we can at least narrow it down considerably here. The best way that you're going to be able to actually get to the right spot, you know, kind of without having any real troubles, my advice to you is don't use 
on your Joy-Con. Do not use the joystick, use the D-pad because you can actually count how many steps you have to go. So we are, by my math, currently sitting on, you know, the first spot here. So we need to go up seven more to get to the spot number eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So this spot here should be the correct spot to find the fee bass. Now, if we also kind of count, just I'm going to hop into the water real quick. I still have my repel. So it's one, two, and then sort of like three, because we can surf down away from the rock. So based on our math, this should be the correct spot to operate in. And I actually wondered, do they show that little breakable rock there? They don't. Okay. But this should be still the correct spot. So we're just going to go ahead and use our good rod and see what we get here. So we're going to go ahead and keep our fingers and toes crossed. And oh, it got away. Fiddlesticks. Okay. We got something. All right. What is it? All right, we got ourselves a wish cache. Now, keep in mind, guys, there are going to be other Pokemon on these squares. So this could take a little bit of time to make sure you get the right one. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we're just going to we're not going to give up. We're just going to keep going because we know, according to the information we have, Feebass should be here. All right, it's another whiz cache. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and go over to the green squares to uh, see if we can get anything that way. So, all right, we see here that we got another whiz cache. I'm going to attempt the other square to see if we can get any more luck that way. So let's take a peek. All right, so it's on the same. Oh, it's on the bottom level. And then it looks like it's over uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it actually is the same distance, which is really interesting. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try that. We didn't get any luck here. So again, they did say this can happen. You know, it's it's possible. So we're just going to go ahead and hop on. So we're on square one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that should be the square. Now we need to fish into that square. So we need to go one before it, obviously. Now let's go ahead and give it a try. And let's see what we get here. All right, well, we're not off to a good start, but we are going to go ahead and keep trying here. Come on, Feebass, don't let me down, buddy. Okay, we hooked something. What do we get? Oh, we got Feebass. Okay, so yeah, guys, keep in mind, it can be the red or the green tile. It, there's no real way to you know find out which one until you brute force your way in and find it. But as we can see... It was a Feebass. I'm going to go ahead and catch this sucker real quick. And then we're just going to recap everything for you guys. And it was that easy. Okay, so we caught our Feebass in a quick ball. Nice and easy. No muss, no fuss. And yeah, that is just incredible. So yeah, guys, that is how you're going to catch Feebass and make your life a lot more easy uh, when it comes to getting, you know, your Pokedex completed in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So what you need to do is go ahead and go to Jubilife City and get your Lotto ID number for the day. And then go to this website over here. We're going to have a link for it down in the description below. You need to go to this website because it makes your life so much easier. On that one square, we got Phoebus first time. So it is incredible that we have this sort of access because when I was a kid playing Gen 3, I spent far too much time looking for Phoebus. And now we have the ability, as we see, to get one. Literally no muss, no fuss. Just go to the square, cast your line collect your fish. So that being said, everybody, all the information is going to be in the description below. Please go ahead and try this out to make sure that you uh, can get your Pokedex completed. And of course, get your shiny charm, which will help you with breeding all those eggs once you uh, have that completed in your Pokedex. So that being said, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and most importantly, found it useful and I hope you're able to use this to catch all the feedbacks you want and maybe even get a shiny one. So that being said, everybody, I've been Blaine for Bridge 4 Games. Thank you all so much for stopping by and hanging out with me as we, uh, you know, went fishing and went on a little uh, trip here. So if you did like the video, please make sure that you absolutely get, get impact that like button in the face. And as always, consider subscribing to the channel to become part of our amazing Pokemon community to make sure that you never miss any of the awesome videos just like this one. I hope each and every one of you have an awesome, epic, and amazing day, and I will see you in the next video. See you around. Bye-bye. <laughs>